instead. There was blood everywhere. I knew. She'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenceless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? I took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna... The little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh... hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller, and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up. And empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Look! Taking your arm. 
bombs, quick. But if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming, it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? Like this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends and change it into a lubber camp. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Good. 
Now bury the body. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. You white one, look like you got soused last night too. Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Should exist. 
examine that horse carcass. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. That's it, Roach. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we sets off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire.
Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. Twa the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace.